In today's day and age, new games are being released to PC pretty frequently. Yet there is still the issue of delays, as well as games being released in a broken and unfinished state, needing countless updates to not only render the experience playable, but more importantly, enjoyable. The fact that this isn't only prevalent, it's almost becoming the standard, it's scary. For this very reason, I'm listing 10 of the most replayable games. Games in which playability and enjoyability are guaranteed. So sit down, strap in, let's go. The first game on our list is Mass Effect 2. So Shepard's journey across the galaxy in the Normandy is as damn replayable as it gets. It's not even funny. With so many decisions leading to different outcomes, it only makes sense that you would replay this game over and over. Also the fact that it looks half decent for a game that came out in 2010 just doesn't hurt either. The team that you assemble along the way is dynamic, different and interesting as all hell. And the cherry on top? It has a decent ending. <coughs> Mass Effect 3. The second game on the list is Far Cry 3. Now for a person who doesn't really love first person games, I sure as hell played this game a good couple of times. The world is beautiful, even 10 years later it looks semi-decent. It's vibrant, it's beautiful, it's tropical, but most importantly, it's deadly. With arguably one of the best villains in gaming and a fast-paced story to boot, it's easy to get lost with Jason in the jungle over and over again. Oh, and have I mentioned Citra? The third game on the list is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Arguably one of the best Tomb Raider games, most definitely in the reboot series. Rise of the Tomb Raider has fun combat and stealth gameplay mechanics that just never get old. The game is pushing 8 years in age, but goddamn, you wouldn't say it from the looks of it. Not as dark as Shadow of the Tomb Raider and not as green as the original. Rise of the Tomb Raider strikes the balance just right. The balance that has me going back for it over and over, and incidentally, currently. The fourth game on our list is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. At the time of its release, it had the biggest and most beautiful map in all the Assassin's Creed games. It was perfect, and will still be whenever you decide to set the Black Flag and sail as Edward. In my opinion, the most charming of all the Assassins. Tropical waters, deep blue skies, and pirate ships aplenty make this game a pirate fantasy so easy to return to. It's scary, but in a good way. The fifth game on our list is Batman Arkham City. Now Arkham Asylum was the first game I ever played on my first ever Lenovo gaming laptop back in 2010. If I could tell you how many times over I played that game, it would still pale in comparison to how many times I replayed Arkham City. The semi-open world, the dark and dangerous streets of Gotham, and the best cast of villains in the Arkham series made and make this game so easy to return to. Cliche as it may be at this point, you'll feel just like Batman. The sixth game on our list is The Witcher 3. I can't tell you how many times I replayed The Witcher 3 at this point in time, it's almost embarrassing. What I can tell you with certainty is that I replayed the next gen update recently, twice over, including all the side missions and locations. And that is the very reason The Witcher 3 is so replayable. Decisions have tangible impact on the world, everything has consequences, and that's not to mention how deep this game goes. There's still decoctions, potions, gear, mutations, the list is endless. Oh, have I mentioned how many times I've replayed this game? The seventh game on the list is Uncharted 4, A Thief's Collection. It may only have been ported to the PC a couple of months back, but that hasn't stopped me from finishing this game at least five times. Beautiful locations, fantastic dialogue, and amazing character interactions. Make Uncharted 4 one of the more replayable games on this list. Number 8 on the list, Spider-Man Remastered. 
with a beautiful rendition of the island of Manhattan, as well as being able to scale and swing high and low, has led me to replaying Spider-Man Remastered too many times since its August release last year. With an original story to boot and a pretty decent one at that, not to mention that you can lose hours just swinging aimlessly. Possibly the most replayable game on this list. Number 9. God of War We had to wait 4 long years to finally get this game to PC. But boy was it well worth the wait. A beautiful world with so many things to explore and a combat system that never gets old. God damn it. I love this game. And that brings us to number 10, Resident Evil 2. I cannot believe that I only first played this game last year October. To say that I have come to love the remake series of Resident Evil games would be an understatement and a big one at that. Resident Evil 2 has such a fantastic horror slash thriller atmosphere. It's moody, it's dark, it's dangerous. And I love it. But guys, that's my list of 10 most replayable games. What are the games that I missed and what games do you think are more replayable than the ones I mentioned? Hit me up in the comment section, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and please if you haven't subbed to the channels yet please consider doing so. Most importantly guys, it's people like you. Have a fantastic day. Cheers.